Quadrilla holds a licence to explore for shale gas across 1,200 square kilometres of Lancashire. In 2012, we carried out a detailed 3D survey of a 100 square kilometre area of the rural field to map the rock below the surface. This data has helped us in our search for new exploration sites. We are now going to show you what an exploration site looks like. A typical site is one and a half hectares in size, which is approximately twice the size of a football pitch. This is what a site looks like when we are ready to start work. Firstly, a layer of topsoil is removed and an impermeable membrane is laid to act as a seal between the site and the ground. A layer of compacted stones is then added to provide a temporary surface. It will take around one to two months to prepare the site for drilling. Our equipment arrives on site on articulated lorries. After the drilling rig arrives, the trailer is raised on hydraulic legs. The crane extends from its platform and the rest of the rig is erected around it. The topsoil we've removed forms a four metre high mound around part of the site, helping to screen it. Monitoring equipment is installed within the site to allow us to monitor the ground gas, groundwater quality and groundwater level. After drilling, the rig is removed and the hydraulic fracturing equipment is brought onto site. Fracturing takes place for brief periods over a number of weeks. Once a well has been fractured, we test it to see how much gas flows out. Under the terms of our exploration licence, we flare off any gas that is produced during the initial testing period. This testing can continue for a maximum of 90 days per well. The flare stack is covered by a metal cowl to minimise its visual impact. Following this initial testing for gas, if the results are encouraging, we may then undertake a longer period of testing for up to two years. The gas extracted will not be flared off at this stage, but will flow into the gas pipeline network. The well is then plugged, the equipment removed and the site secured. Further planning permission would be needed before any site could go into production. When we've completed our work, we put the site back to its original condition. The wells are permanently sealed, the membrane and surface removed, and the topsoil is spread back across the site. 